Okay, so you see electric eel is right here in the tank itself, right? How big he is. So what I'm going to do temporarily, I'm going to put him in, in this tote. Obviously, the water is in this. I'm going to drain the water here, put him in the tote there, so that way temporarily I get this tank filled up. So that's what's going to happen as a step before I just throw him in there. You can't just throw him in there without having, obviously, a temporary tank there and move him from there. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, this is going to become the part where I put... The water in there, get volt in there. But first, I like to do is I like to partially drain the tank a little bit. So when a tank is drained a little bit, you actually catch the fish much more easier without harm. So I'm lazy, so I'm using my pump system here. Drop <clears throat> the new water, well, his tank water in there. And let's take the pump out. Put the pump inside here. He's probably like, what the heck is going on? Some, some things are going to happen. Probably already a little nervous, but I'm going to try not to get shocked either. But I should test it and shock. See, see what happens if I do actually get shocked. So there's a wire there. I'm going to throw it on the back end of the tank itself. And at the same time, I'm going to turn the filtration off temporarily while the water drains out. Lights can actually stay on. And, well, that would help if I turn the power on. So let me... Plug in a different outlet, because that one's off. And this things like this has happened. It's just kind of the way it goes. So now, the water should be coming out. Slow into here. Let me show you guys what it looks like. You go over here. The water's going in there. And you can see pumping. Pump, pump, pump. All the way there. Up, down, and actually inside the toad itself. So. Stay tuned when I find him in there and make the move. Now you can see already, I got the aquarium water coming from that tank into here, starting to fill it up. Again, the reason why I'm doing this like this is to have the, the have Bolt actually not get so shocked. Water chemistry should be the same and just kind of getting it filled up. But it should give him a lot of space to swim around. So let me show you what's going to happen on other tanks. Let me take the camera off so you guys can actually see it. And that way you can see what I'm actually doing. So water's in there, slowing up and down here and coming from this tank. Bolt itself is right there. You can see in the tote itself. And so water there brings inside here, and it's gonna start filling that tank up. Once the tank's about halfway filled, which should be about right, my finger there, right here. Then I'm gonna add the siphon to add the fresh water inside the tank. But that's the process, which should be very, very easy. Then we'll start getting ready. Okay, guys, simple, easy project. Volt is already in the tank itself. You can't see him because. This big log that's in the front, a driftwood, it's actually covering it up. It's actually in the back, but it's in his new home. License is working. The HOB is working. Heater's working. Got a big sponge filter in the back that's working. So, you know, everything for him is actually a go okay. And he's in a big new home, so he's going to actually grow even bigger. Hopefully, once he's acclimated in a day or two, he should be just fine right back in his home in his new tank. So, I'm excited. And it's a, that's a simple project. Next step would just be to do carbonate panels to obviously help with the evaporation of the water. And next step will be just to, you know, watch them grow out. That's the next step. So, uh, guys, thanks for listening. Go ahead and subscribe, hit the channel. And thanks for watching another RJ uh, Fish and Aquatics and Wellbeing. And listen again. Yeah.